What's going on everybody, Andrew Pilikaki here back with another video and today I'm discussing the Toronto Maple Leafs 4-2 win over the Minnesota Wild. Now, if you guys heard in my preview this morning, I said that the Toronto Maple Leafs had to win this game against the Minnesota Wild. It was a must win game. The Minnesota Wild have been struggling, uh, you know, Fiala's getting stretched, that hasn't really worked in, in Minnesota right now, there's a lot of potential there. but. Everything about this game screamed that the Toronto Maple Leafs needed to win. Like the, they came in here with a, with a pretty poor record. The Leafs obviously not off to the start that they wanted to, but the Minnesota Wild are definitely not a skilled team uh, to the same level as the Toronto Maple Leafs. And again, that's no disrespect to the Wild. I'm sure that they're going to pull it together in the next couple years, have a new core and rebuild on that, like a lot of teams do, including the Leafs, what they've had to go through before. And the Wild have previously been a really good team, leading the league or being top three in scoring in the league in the you know two years ago I think it was uh, they said it on the broadcast tonight but anyways a big 4-2 win or yeah 4-2 win for the Toronto Maple Leafs uh, they, they needed this one so going through the summary of the game it was Devin Dubnik versus Frederick Anderson um, I said in my preview that Staylock would have been starting uh, start starting in goal but it, it ended up being Devin Dubnik so uh, yeah, I mean, that that was a quick change. Staylock had a shutout the night before, so they wanted Dubnik to get some time in there. But Freddie Anderson and Dubnik were the guys in the crease tonight. Uh, Freddie had a better game. Dubnik wasn't fantastic, but the Leafs had a shooting gallery tonight. So he made, Dubnik made 30 saves on 34 shots. Freddie Anderson made 27 saves on 29 shots. The first goal that went in wasn't the greatest. And again, it was another poor early start for the Leafs. Luke uh, Kunin, uh, his second Kunin, I'm, I'm not too sure. Kunin, uh, I'm not too sure how you pronounce his name. Uh, I'm unfamiliar with the player. His second of the year, uh, assisted by Suter and Spurgeon. Sorry if you guys can hear that in the background. The heater is loud tonight. I have no idea what's going on. The heat is, is going crazy over there. But uh, anyways, John Tavares tied it up for the Leafs. His second of the season, assisted by Cody Ceci and Morgan Riley. Uh, but the Leafs were off to a poor start. They needed to get something going in the second period. And uh, John Tavares sniped a pretty nice shot. Uh, Mitch Marner then scored as well. These guys needed to get going. We needed Mitch. We needed John. We needed Kasperi Kapanen to get going. Kapanen ended up getting uh, moved down in the lineup. Moore moved up. So definitely a big change there uh, in terms of, you know, obviously a, a significant spot in the lineup, but we'll get to that in a second. Mitch Marner scoring on the power play his third of the season, assisted by Janssen and Morgan Riley, who Morgan Riley had a big night. He had four assists tonight. He assisted on the next goal, which was Andreas Janssen, a weird one on the power play where it bounced off and he whacked it in, uh, assisted by Marner and Riley. Uh, and then Matthew scored his seventh of the year, assisted by Marner uh, and Morgan Riley again. So four assists for Morgan Riley tonight, a huge game for him. And then in the third period, Gerald Mayhew scored his first of the season and first NHL goal. Congratulations uh, to, to Gerald Mayhew. Uh, hopefully I'm saying that correctly, but congrats. That's awesome. Uh, Jordan Greenway, I believe he was a former Leaf pick. I could be wrong. And Ryan Donato. Uh, got the assists on that one. So, uh, a big game for the Leafs, like I said. And, you know, getting back to the Kapanen and, and Moore stuff, I'm not sure if this is going to be um, a permanent type of role here, here, but Moore looked good with Tavares and Marner. You know, Zach Hyman's probably going to patrol that spot when he comes back. So, the Leafs have a lot of depth. They have a lot of guys that can play on the wings, a lot of guys that can move up in the lineup, guys that you can afford to have moved down. Um, of course, now it gets really quiet, but the, the Leafs have a lot of are able to have a lot of moving pieces because they have such a deep team. So it showed tonight you're able to get Moore up there, and he played to his potential to the to the way that we needed him to play there. So again, a, a big win for the Leafs. They needed this one. They're back on the ice tomorrow against the Washington Capitals, and that one's in Washington. So they're traveling as you're watching this video. I'm sure uh, a big game, and that will be previewed on this channel. So make sure to watch that video if you're new. Make sure to subscribe. I'd love to have more hockey conversations with you. Join the squad. Let's get to 7,000 subscribers. Uh, make sure to check out my other videos. If you're not a Leaf fan, I talk about all NHL teams, although recently it's been a lot of Leaf talk. I've been pretty busy, so the Leaf videos have been the ones that have been going up because I post about every game. I didn't review the Detroit game. I was super tired that game. Uh, that won't happen again. I was really not feeling good, uh, so that that's why that wasn't posted. But again, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video or stream. Peace.